Well, welcome <clears throat> to my uh, shop here this morning. I'm going to do a little uh, rifle. Um, something like uh, a rather famous one that was on TV. And uh, I'm going to cut this out of a piece of maple this morning. I uh, thought I'd follow through on this with a little quick video on how I do it and put the little uh, uh, attributes in the rifle as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we'll start as usual by putting down some painter's tape on here. This is a uh, three-quarter inch piece of maple that I had, and I only want the rifle uh, to be about a uh, half inch thick, so I use my uh, planer. Uh, my uh, joiner to uh, thin this thing out down to about a half inch and it uh, came out pretty good. It's got a nice little grain to it. Gotta make a nice uh, rifle for display purposes. Okay. Now we take down a piece of paper here and take our pattern. By the way, if you want this pattern, you can uh, stop by my SD shop. Just click the link down below and you can download it there. Uh, I have in the package, I've also put a few other patterns to give you uh, sort of a grab bag of patterns to uh, have with it. Not necessarily related to Western, but they might be. Uh, just something you'll find out when you open that package up. And you'll get this uh, pattern also. Uh, it's a pattern that is printed on 14 inch legal size paper. Uh, not too difficult to do. You can print it on any printer. And it works nicely. And so we put our rifle down here and now uh, this is a rifle that I took off of the internet found a picture of it but I had to modify it quite a bit so it becomes actually my rifle especially with the little ornate designs in here too I'm gonna drill out some entry holes I'm gonna drill three holes up at the top but not all the way through that would just be sort of ornamentation the rest of them I'm going to have to go all the way through the lination here too I'm going to have to cut those out to make it look a little bit fancy okay well let me go uh, drill these holes out and I'll see you over at the scroll saw okay we're at the scroll saw I've drilled out the entry holes I need only needed one two three Four, and the other three holes are just going to be ornamentation. Um, also got another hole here, which is uh, a starter for the complete outline of the rifle. I put that in there rather than just <clears throat> coming in from the side, because I like to have this hole together while I'm doing the cutting. And in that process, uh, when you, you're all done, they can just drop it out. And it doesn't become a pain in the neck while you're working with it. All right, so let's get going on this. We'll start with the trigger this time.
Okay, I got the um, rifle cut out, and uh, what I'm going to do now is run it across this <clears throat> sad looking uh, sanding mop, and I like to just round over the edges and smooth everything up nice and neat. This is one of those, uh, it's not an exact replica, but it's an imitation of the old rifles that used to have that hoop type lever on them, and uh, probably familiar with it from the John Wayne movie called uh, Stagecoach and uh, a lot of other great uh, westerns uh, tend to use this rifle as well so let's get this thing rounded over Okay, a lot smoother now. You can feel it on the corners especially. Uh, what I'm going to do now is run it over the uh, top part of the sand flea here. I'm going to switch my picture direction here a little bit. There we go. And I'm uh, going to go over the sides of the rifle and smooth it out. Okay, that gives us a nice little rifle. I'm going to be using this as part of a, a bigger display. But uh, if you're going to cut this out, uh, when you cut the uh, little ornate pieces here, the lines, uh, you got to be careful not to go too far into the wood because all those cuts make it weaker as such. And if you're going to use this rifle for display purposes, uh, you'll probably want to put a backing board on it of some sort or set it on a backing board as I'm going to be doing um, <clears throat> but uh, if to hold it like this the pieces could break very easily so you should have some kind of support for it can also uh, stain it a different color um, set it up any way you want uh, it'll give you a nice little uh, conversation piece uh, uh, historically the rifle is quite uh, the thing in the United States of course and unfortunately, it's had a bad reputation, too. But uh, for display purposes, I don't think it's going to be uh, of any harm. So uh, what you'll want to do is uh, give it a try and see if you can hang this up on your wall. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button down below. And uh, you might want to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you might find some interesting things coming up down the road. Remember that if you want to... Uh, get a copy of the pattern for this uh, rifle uh, just click the link down below and that'll take you to my Etsy site and you'll also get a few other free patterns along with it well thank you very much for watching